Well, I'm getting all our stuff together here. Waiting on Dad to take care of some business before we head in. And I just got a picture from where we're headed in. And I don't know if you can see that. He's standing in front of the picture the camera right now. Not a giant, but he's probably in trouble if he gets close, especially to Dad. He ain't passing that. And he's standing there right now, so. I don't know how to handle that. <laughs> Just got this in front of the camera where we headed. Oh, shit. Mm hmm I don't know how to handle that, you. I'm at the tree I wanna be at. The only issue is, record this stuff, the main camera, the one that gets all the footage. Still in the truck. <laughs> unbelievable, man. Just unbelievable. Disappointed. Video and stuff's kind of what I do. It's hard to do when you forget the video camera. The only light at the end of the tunnel is I can have this little camera. I just got to be careful because the uh, cold weather kills its batteries even faster than they typically run out, which is pretty quick. But with the cold weather, I do have every battery that I have for that thing charged and with me. Anyway, we're up here. It's November 13th. Prime time. I'll see what I can get with what I got. Sorry, fellas and ladies. If you need you know, just watch it. I'm sorry I forgot the camera. I feel like such a bozo. See them in the head of that drain. Had the doe and button head right here at 50, and they were feeding up under a tree, and had a spike come from over the 
ridge there. First he came in pumping four more does, does and yearlings. Had them running crazy and ran them back over the ridge. About 20 minutes later he came back, pumped her doe and putting head off and they all, he pumped him down that way. The spike went back over the ridge way he came, but seeing anything big yet. Just saw those does that have been bedding over there. This little, little hillside's got a bunch of does bedded on it all morning. They've been getting up and moving. Saw a bunch of them get off and get up and start bouncing around. Saw a big deer and threw my binos on it. I, I couldn't tell what he was as far as points wise, but he was about right outside his ears, but he was really, really tall. Looked at him walking away because they just took and bumped all those toes over. It's 12 noon. I would sit it all day. I've seen enough deer. And I just seen what I think was a shooter buck right over here. Well, I say just seen, I seen him an hour ago at 11. I'd sit here if I had the big camera. But don't. So that buck took all those does from what I can tell off glass that hillside. I can't find any more does bedded down. I think he rounded every one of those does up and pushed them over into that creek bottom on the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip down. I've already sent dad a message. He's only seen one spike today. He's hunting the same area, same spot that he did last yesterday. So I'm going to get down, slip out, and uh, go get the camera. Then me and Dad are going to come back in, maybe on up that, on up a little ways, and we're going to slip in and kind of try to get on these ridge tops. Seems there's a big creek bottom on the other side of here. It seems like these deer are bedded on the ridge top, or not ridge tops, but ridge sides right off that creek bottom, best I can tell. So I'm assuming these bucks are just cruising up and down, trying to just diving into each one of those doe bedding areas and rounding them all up and checking them out. So that's the plan. Let's get that. We got us a sandwich and I got the camera. And it's back in for the evening. <clears throat> We're gonna slip in kind of the same ridge network. And I'm watching that buck push those does over at about 11. We're gonna stop just shy of it, set up shop, and hopefully they'll bring him past us. <clears throat> All the bottoms come together right down here.
is 3.30, so we have an entire, about an hour and a half before we can't even see. So, we're late, as always, but that's what happens when you leave the camera in the flipping truck in the morning, you have to come out. But uh, we've been on the south side of this ridge system here, and I saw that buck push that group of does over the top. Kind of headed this way, so I decided to hunt the north. Tried to loop around and see if, uh, by chance, what, you know, what it was like up here. And of course I took it two steps too far and blew half a dozen deer off the corner of this thing. I do it every freaking time, but, you know, it is what it is. None of them blew and caused a big rug because they just ran off, so there's a lot of running going on this time of year, so maybe it didn't screw everything up. I mean, I'm, I'm fairly certain as the deer we saw on the other side of this ridge system this morning, I caught a glimpse of him. And I'd be dang if we didn't put ourselves in a position to be in the game with him again this evening. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I mean, it's not going to happen. I mean, I mean, it's not going to happen. I hear him walking off, blowing. I hear another deer coming from the bottom. 
as a comedy a comedy skit, my dear running. I mean, it's like Dumb and Dumber takes on Kentucky or something. It's unbelievable. I have had deer wind me on both sides of the tree this evening, literally 180 degrees. The buck was there. Those does were there. I literally couldn't be anymore on opposite sides of the tree. It's wild, ain't it? That last little buck, I mean, he was nice, but I don't think he was shooter quality. He, uh, he came in behind for those does. He bumped them up, and then he went past us, and I got some video of him, but his stuff's so thick in here. It was on automatic zoom, and I mean, automatic focus. By the time I switch things out, I don't, I don't, I saw him, I said, I don't think that's, that's our deer. And then those does got that wind up me and started blowing, and that called him back in, which can happen during the rut. He walked right down, right down here below us. And I run the shutter speed up on the camera to look at his rack. And he was nice, but I don't think it was, don't think I was our man. done sitting in the cold. That person would have come in here, I could have been done sitting in the cold. But it looks like you guys will see me tomorrow. Hey, we appreciate you guys joining us for this video. If you like this one, you'll probably like the next one. I'll leave it up here in the corner. Don't forget to subscribe and follow along with us. We'll leave our social media links down in the description below. That's also where you'll be able to find links on the turkey calls we use and the apparel we wear and that kind of stuff. So you can find that in that little drop-down description below. And uh, as always, we sure appreciate you guys following along.